So hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about chapter two from our managerial accounting. And the <clears throat> title of chapter two is about the cost behavior. And this is one of the most important chapters for the managerial accounting. <coughs> so now let's see what is the meaning of cost behavior. So cost behavior refers how a cost will react to changes in the level of activity. So we have several key important terms, cost. Okay, how a cost will react. Here react means response. How a cost is going to respond if the level of activity changes, okay? So here the changes means, here the word changes means increase, decrease or no change or no change. So it means that level of activity increase, okay? Some cost, some cost may be increased. Level of activity decrease, some cost may be decreased. Or level of activity increase or decrease, it doesn't matter. The cost do not have any change. So this is called the cost behavior. How you are going to respond, okay? How a cost is going to respond if the level of activity increase or decrease. So look at here, for example, for example, you produced, you produce 1000 units. You produce 1000 units of product. So some cost, that means cost may be to produce 1000 units, the cost may be $20,000. You produce 1,000, so this is the level of activity. So level of activity is 1,000 units. You produce 1,000 units, your cost is $20,000. But for example, you produce more. You produce more, you produce 2,000 units. You produce 2,000 units, your cost may be $30,000. So level of activity increase, look at here, level of activity increase, okay or decrease cost cost is increasing and decreasing cost is increasing and the decreasing for example you work you work 8 hours okay and the company paid salary salary is the cost salary is the cost so you work eight hours and company pay you salary $10,000, $10,000. Because you work eight hours, okay. Now, for example, you work 10 hours per day, 10 hours per day. Maybe your salary become $15,000, right? $15,000. Same, you use more machine hours. You have to pay more cost. If you drive your car more miles, you have to buy more gasoline cost, right? If you drive less miles, you have less cost for the gasoline. So this is called the cost behavior. This is called the cost behavior. So how a cost will react, okay? How a cost is going to respond if the level of activity increase, if the level of activity decreases. So some cost may be increased, some cost may be decreased, or some cost may not have any changes. Okay, so here you should know who are the level of activities. Who are the level of activities? So another name, another name of level of activities is called cost driver. Okay, this is the another name, another name of level of activity. Another name of level of activity is called the cost driver. So these are the examples. 
these are the examples of level of activity or the cost drivers like unit produced machine hours labor hours and the mile drivers so these are the level of activity it increase cost may be increased this level of activity decrease cost may be decreased or this level of activity increase or decrease it doesn't matter cost is free no change okay something like this so we are going to see more example about this uh, cost behavior level of activity increase or decrease cost whether increase or decrease or constant we can see based on some classification of cost so we have three classification of cost first one is the variable cost second one is the fixed cost and third one is the mixed cost so we are going to see what is their characteristics okay what is their characteristics and what is their behavior why they are also increasing or decreasing or whether they are no changing if the level of activity increase or decrease something like this look at this table first uh, look at this table first so here per unit variable cost okay so making a phone call okay so you are making a phone call you have mobile so you call sometimes to your parents sometimes to your friend every day right so this kind of phone call is called here level of activity level of activity why level of activity because today maybe you have five calls maybe tomorrow you have 10 calls day after tomorrow maybe you don't have any calls so sometimes you make more calls sometimes you make less call right so this that's why it is called level of activity and another name of level of activity i already told you that is called cost driver so in this example our level of activity is the call phone call okay and you i told you that this kind of level of activity sometimes increase or sometimes decrease look at here sometimes 10 hours sometimes 8 hours right so level of activity is moving changing so this is the first column that you make phone call and these are the level of activity and you have a contract with a mobile company that if you make one call okay per minute per minute phone call you have to pay them $5 okay the company said that if you make a phone call per minute i am going to give i am going to charge i am going to charge five dollar to you do you understand so per call per minute is five dollar right and the last cell last row here is the total variable cost total so this part is the part total part and this part is the per unit part so we are going to see what happened to the per unit variable cost and what happened to the total variable cost. Do you understand? So first example is about variable cost because we have three, three cost classification, variable cost, fixed cost, and mixed cost. So first we are now variable cost. And we are going to see what happened, what, what is the behavior, okay, for total variable cost and what is the behavior of per unit variable cost their behavior are, are different okay their behavior are different but you know that if you make one minute call you have to pay five dollar it is per minute phone call okay now you have fast one call fast call and one minute for example so so you make a fast call okay and you will spend one minute time. How much you have to pay? How much you have to pay? Five dollar, yes, five dollar. Now you do not have any other call in this month, okay? You only make only one call in this month and uh, the company charges five dollars. So at the end of the month, what is the total cost? Total variable cost? Five dollar, yes. Now, not one call, you make second, call okay in another day 
in this month, you have second call and also one minute. How much you have to pay for the second call? One minute, five dollar, right? So now you make two call in this month. What is your total variable cost? It is increasing or decreasing? Increase. I mean now it is ten dollar. Okay. Then you have more time. You make another phone call. Third phone call. You make third phone call, and so one minute, and you charge. You pay five dollar. Now at the end of the month, how is the total? Fifteen, right? Fifteen. So fourth call. Five dollar. Now it becomes twenty. Twenty. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Yes. It become now twenty five, and if you make six call, give them five dollar, and total become thirty. Right. So you find that level of activity increase. Try to understand level of activity increase. Total variable cost increase. Right. Look at here. Okay, I will go to this part. So we find that level of activity increase, total variable cost increase. Now look at here, level of activity decreasing. Level of activity decrease, okay? Now what is the total cost now? 20, right? Again, level of activity increase, Level of activity increase, total variable cost increase, right? Now, what about per unit? It is changing, it is increasing or decreasing, or it is fixed? Fixed. So the characteristics is per unit, per unit, variable cost. This is variable cost, okay? Variable cost is fixed. Per unit variable cost. So every call per unit is fixed. Very, very important concept here. In case of variable cost, in case of variable cost, per unit variable cost is fixed. Per unit variable cost fixed. What about total cost? Total cost, total variable cost. What about total variable cost? So this column is the characteristics. Characteristics. So according to the characteristics, we find that per unit variable cost is fixed. But what about the total variable cost? Is it fixed? No. It is total variable cost is changing. Changing, right? And what is the change? What is the change here? Level of level of activity increase. Look at here. Level of activity increase, total variable cost also increase, right? Level of activity, level of activity increase, total variable cost increase. And what is another characteristics of here? Total level of activity decrease, level of activity decrease, the total variable cost also decrease, right? Look at the characteristics here, here. I write the characteristics. Per unit variable cost is fixed. Per unit. Per unit variable cost. Per unit variable cost is fixed. No change. You can see. Per unit variable cost is fixed. But what about total variable cost? What about total variable cost? So total variable cost increase. Okay. Total variable cost increase if level of activity increase, level of activity 
increase total variable cost decrease if level of activity decrease okay so what is the summary here per unit variable cost is fixed but total variable cost is changing let's move on to the fixed cost now according to the fixed cost you have a contact with a phone call a phone a mobile company you have a contact with a mobile company and mobile company said that give me 100 dollar per month okay and you can make unlimited call right do you understand like you live in the dormitory so when you live in the dormitory you pay a fixed rent every year or every six months or every semester right it is fixed whether you leave or not okay for one night or two nights it doesn't matter you pay them your dormitory rent so according to this fixed cost my example here is you already paid 100 dollar to a mobile company per month okay and the mobile company said that give me 100 dollar okay per month and you can make unlimited call unlimited minute doesn't matter just give me give me 100 dollar and you give them you give them 100 dollar so this is this number is known very beginning okay you already know this number that total fixed cost is 100 dollar so per month look at here per month unlimited call you can make by paying 100 dollar okay so the characteristics is this number cannot be changed never because it is total fixed cost fc means fixed cost total fixed cost is fixed this is fixed you cannot change this number why because you already sign a contract with the mobile company that you give them 100 dollar now you are free to make call now in this month you already pay 100 dollar okay and you make only one call one call if you make only one call uh, and you are busy you did not have any other phone call just only one call you make what is the per unit what is the per unit fixed cost 100 dollar right 100 dollar because you make only one call you are very busy so 100 dollar now you have some free time you make second call you make seven call what is the per unit fixed cost now 50 yes you make third call your per unit now 33 point something you make four call you have to pay 25 per call you make five calls it is 20 right do you understand so per unit is changing look at here per unit is changing that means if you make more call per unit is going to decrease right if you make less call if you make less call for example you make only one call or you make only two calls okay your per unit become increased right per unit become increased even anyway so what, what is the summary here per unit fixed cost is changing right per unit fixed cost is changing per unit fixed cost is changing because every call you can see that it is different number it is different number right it is different number and you find that if you make more call per unit become decrease if you make less call for example you don't have any call in this month in this month you don't have any call what is your this number cannot be changed it is fixed it is fixed so look at the characteristics characteristics say that total fixed cost is fixed it is fixed $100 is fixed according to this example. $100 is fixed. You cannot change this number. Now, if 
your level of activity increase, okay? Sorry, if your level of activity decrease, that means you make less call, okay? You make less call, so per unit will increase. Per unit will increase. Per unit will increase. If your level of activity increase, okay? If your level of activity increase, per unit is going to, per unit is going to decrease. So these are the characteristics of fixed cost and variable cost. Very, very important characteristics, you must know this. Now, mixed cost. So mixed cost is very simple definition. It is the combination of fixed cost plus variable cost. So when we combine, when we combine our fixed cost and variable cost, it called the mixed cost, okay? Or it called, or it called the total cost. Total cost. Clear? Mixed cost means it is the combination of variable cost and fixed cost. Another name, it is called the total cost. Total cost. Now we have a formula for mixed cost. So this is the formula. This is the formula for mixed cost. A y equal y equal a plus b x. So y is called the total mixed cost, or I told you that it is another name is called total cost. Total cost. I repeat again, y equal a plus b x is the cost formula for mixed cost or total cost. So here y is total mixed cost or total cost. And A equal, A equal total fixed cost. A equal total fixed cost, like here, this one, $100. It cannot be changed, right? It is fixed. A is the total fixed cost and B is the per unit variable cost. Previous example. So according to our previous example, total fixed cost is $100. According to our example here, total fixed cost is $100, right? And here per unit, per unit variable cost is $5 and it is fixed. It is fixed. So B equal per unit variable cost, it is $5 according to our example. And the level of activity is here. You can see that level of activity sometimes one call, two call, three call, five call, six call, right? This is called the level of, this is called the level of X is the level of activity. Sometimes you have more calls, sometimes you have less call, right? Sometimes you have no calls. So this is called the level of activity. So do you understand this formula? Y equal, okay? Y equal A plus BX. Y is the total cost or mixed cost. A is the fixed cost. B is the per unit variable cost and X is the level of activity. Now, think about this question. Think about this question and find out the number. Your fixed monthly utility charge, okay? Your fixed monthly, that means every month you have to pay $40 and you can use unlimited electricity or water, something like this, okay? So if your monthly utility charge is fixed and it is $40 and your variable cost per unit, look, it is per, per unit variable cost is $0 0.03, okay? And your monthly level of activity. So this is, this is our A, this is our B, okay? This is our B. So you find A, we find B, and your monthly level of activity, level of activity, activity level. You find activity level and it is X. It is X. So what is the amount of the utility bill? Okay, what is the amount of utility bill? So according to this question, $40,000 $40 is fixed. After that, if you use more hour, you have to pay more money. If you use less hour, you have to pay less money. So the question is, what is the Y? What is the Y? What is the Y? So we know that level of activity here, level of activity is uh, 2,000 units. 
level of activity per unit variable cost is 0 0.03 this is per unit variable cost we know the fixed cost is given 40 dollar now our question mark is here our question mark is here what is the total cost for this month okay so if you solve this question here okay what is the answer here according to this equation it is 100 dollar right 100 dollar so y equal 100 dollar a equal here 40 dollar here b equal 0 0.03 right 0 0.03 and x equal x equal 2000 2000 inverse so bx means we have interaction right times and the answer is 100 and then if i change this question the same question, for example, I told you that is depends on the level of activity, right? Depends on the level of activity. Now level of activity is 4,000. Now level of activity I change, it is 4,000. Before it was, before it was 2,000, okay? And I change the level of activity. Why I change the level of activity? Because level of activity is changed, but total fixed cost is fixed, right? Total fixed cost is fixed and per unit variable cost is fixed. Remember, look at here. Total fixed cost is fixed, right? And per unit, per unit variable cost is fixed. So but only change the level of activity. Only change the level of activity. So level of activity change now. Level of activity change now 4,000. So if we use this formula, if we use this formula, now only change here. Only change here, right? Now, what is the level? Uh, what is the total cost now? One sixty, right? Do you understand? So this question said that which one is the missing? This question said that y is missing, right? Try to understand. This question said that y is missing. Clear? Y is missing here. Y is missing. Why is missing? So as Y is missing, we calculate this number, right? We calculate this number. Do you understand? Now look at here, I copy this question. I copy this question. So according to previous example, our y is missing right now try to understand y equal for example y equal 100 dollar y equal 100 dollar okay missing your fixed cost is A, right? Our fixed cost is A and it is missing. It is missing. Our variable cost is 0 0.03 dollar, it is B. B is missing. B is missing. Missing means not given number, okay? And X is given. If this is the case, look at here. If your fixed monthly utility charge A is missing, okay? A is missing. Your variable cost per unit is missing. And your monthly level of activity 2000, 2000 units is given, okay? And Y is the mixed cost, right? Y is the total cost is given then how to find out this missing number we are going to learn this important point this is missing how to 
how to find this number. Do you understand my question? Now, can you tell me if you want to find out the missing number, which number you have to calculate first? Our formula is, I repeat again, our formula is here. This is our formula. Okay, our formula is y equal a plus bx. So this is our formula. This is our formula, right? And y is given, look, you will mark y is given, x is given according to this question. Y is given, right? Y is given, x is given. A is not given, okay, A is not given, and B is not given. Now we have to calculate, we have to calculate A and B, right? We have to calculate A and B. Now tell me, which one you have to calculate first? You have to calculate A first or B first? What do you think? Which variable we have to calculate first, A or B? Y is given, X is given. A is not given, B is not given. So if we want to write the formula, okay, if we want to get the number of A and B, which one we have to calculate first? Why A? No, A is not the accurate answer. Because X is given, right? B, X. Look at here, B and X together, right? B and X together. B, X is already given. Look, x is already given, x, x is already given, right? So we have to calculate b first. If we can calculate b, x, okay, we already know y. The remaining is a, clear? So this is very simple math, right? So we have to calculate b first because x is given. So if we calculate b, then we multiply b and x, okay? We know y. So the missing number, difference number, plug number is A, right? Something like this. Now read this question. So now how to find this missing? So how to find the missing number, okay? How to find the, miss, how to find the missing number? The solution is we are going to use high-low method. So we are going to use, we are going to use high-low method, okay, high-low method to find the missing number, to find the A and to find the B. So these are the missing, how to find this missing number, we have to apply a method called high-low method. Okay, so now we are learning, now we are learning high-low method. High-low method. Now read this question. Assume the following hours of maintenance work and the total maintenance cost. Total maintenance cost for the six months. So January to June, these are the six months. This is the first column. Second column is the hours of maintenance. And the last column is the total maintenance cost, total cost. So I told you that which two is given? Y is given, Y is given, and X is given, right? According to this question, which column is Y and which column is X? According to this question, last column is Y, right? Because it is total cost. Look at it, total cost. Total cost is Y. So Y is given. Y is given. Y is given. Clear? Now I told you that A, what is the meaning of X? X means level of activity, right? Level of activity. Look, this is the hours. Sometimes you use 650 hours. Sometimes you use 700 hours. Sometimes you use 850 hours. This is the level of activity. X is changing and X is given. So this is X. This column is the X. This column is the X. X is given. X is given. Now we have to find, we have to find A 
and B. You have to find A and B, right? And you have to know that what is the meaning of A and B? A is the total fixed cost, right? And B is the per unit variable cost. So we have to calculate B first. And B means a rate, right? And the rate is per unit rate. Clear? The B is the per unit rate. Now, which method we are going to apply? We are going to apply high-low method to calculate the rate first. So we have to calculate. We have to calculate B. We have to calculate B first and B equal variable cost per unit. Then we have to calculate A equal total fixed cost. Total fixed cost. So look at the requirement. So the question give you this information. Question give you this information. Then question tell you that question tell you that using high-low method, because we have different method, but in this course, we are going to learn uh, one method is called high-low method, okay? Using high-low method to calculate fixed means A, okay? And variable components means B, B. Something like this. They, they, they said that use high-low method and calculate A and B. Calculate A and B. And after calculating A and B, after calculating A and B, put the number here under the equation. Put the number here under this equation. Okay. This is the question. Express the fixed and variable components. So which one is the fixed? So we have to use this equation and we put the number for fixed cost here and we put the number for variable cost here okay they said that express the fixed and variable components using this cost formula now high low method means you have to find out high level of activity high level of cost low level of activity low level of cost so this is six months try to figure out which cell is high level of activity and high level of cost, and which cell is the low level of activity and low level of cost? Which month? Which month is the high level of activity and high level of cost? June. So we find that June is the high level of activity and high level of cost, right? Then which one is the low? February. February is the low level of activity and low level of cost. Now, which one we have to calculate first? We have to calculate B first, right? Now we have a formula. We have a formula to calculate B first, and this is the formula. This is the formula for B. This is the formula for B. What is the formula? We have to find out changes in cost. Change, that means difference. Change means difference in cost. I can write here difference in cost. You can think about difference. Difference in cost and difference in activity. So the formula is difference in cost. So here difference means high level cost minus low level cost, okay? And difference in activity means high level activity minus low level activity. Look at this formula here. We know this from our question. Our question tell us, our question tell us which one is the high level of activity, high level of cost. Our question tell us low level of activity, low level of cost, right? Now you calculate a difference. You calculate a difference. What is the, how to calculate the difference? How to calculate the difference? High minus low, high minus low, right? And we find a difference. We find a difference. So this is the difference in cost. This is the difference in activity. And when we apply this formula, we can easily get B. We can easily get B. So B is the variable cost per unit, right? B is the variable cost per unit, and the formula is changes in cost. This is the changes in cost, 2400. And the changes in the activity is 400. And we find that $6, $6 is the B. Okay, $6 is the B. 
So this is the formula, okay? This is the formula. We already know B. B is, we already know the B. B is $6. Clear? We know B. We find that B is $6. B is $6, okay? Now we should calculate A. Now how to do this? How to do this? First example is related with high. Related with high. So this is our high column, right? This is the high. And we know that this is Y, right? This is Y. In case of high level of activity, look at it. This is Y. Y means total cost, right? Do you know that? Y is the total cost. So we find, we find Y. Y is here. This is Y. Okay. Look at here. Y is the total cost, right? 9800. 9800 is the total cost. 9800 is the total cost. And in case of high, what is the level of activity? Level of activity is 850. Level of activity is 850. Eight hundred and fifty. So look at here. We know why. And what about the low? What about the low? In case of low, in case of low, so we are looking for high and low. In case of low, what is the why? Look at here. In case of low, this is the why. In case of low, 7400 is the Y. 7400 is the Y. Seven four zero zero is the Y. In case of low, what is the X? X is 450. X is 450. Now tell me what is the X? Sorry, what is the A? In case of high and low, you can see that. In case of high, this is high. We know Y, right? What is the Y? Y means total cost, right? And we know the X, level of activity. We know the level of activity is 850. In case of low, we know Y, and we know level of activity, this. And we already calculate X, right? We cal sorry, we calculate B. We already calculated B. Now, what is A? What is A for these two formula? What is A? You have to remember that. You have to remember these characteristics. A, this number is fixed whether level of activity increase or decrease, right? Whether you have high, whether you have high, whether you have low, this number is fixed. Do you understand? Whether your level of activity is higher, whether your level of activity is lower, this number is fixed, right? Now look at here, high and low. Now high and low, what is the number of A here? If this two number is similar, right? In case of high, in case of low, A should be same number, right? What is the number here? Look at here, the number here is A, 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 A is Four seven zero zero. For low case, it should be also four seven zero zero. Clear? And can you remember this one? Can you remember variable cost characteristics? Level of activity, increase or decrease doesn't matter. Right? Level of activity, increase or decrease doesn't matter. Per unit is fixed, right? Per unit fixed. So look at here. Look at here. It is high or low, doesn't matter. It is high or low, doesn't matter. Six dollars is fixed. Okay. So summary here is per unit variable cost is fixed, right? And total fixed cost is fixed. 
So by using high-low method, we prove that we prove that variable cost per unit is fixed and total fixed cost is fixed. So the level of activity increases or decreases. Look at here, level of activity decrease. 450. Level of activity increase 850. It doesn't matter. So what is the equation here? In the exam question, you have to write the equation. The equation answer is y equal, we have to write the fixed component, right? 4700 plus $6x. So this is the answer. This is the answer for your second requirement. So this is the answer here. So this is the second requirement answer. This is the second requirement answer. In the exam, you should write one equation like this. Y equal 4700 is A, right? And uh, B is $6 and level of activity is X. So this is the answer. This is the answer of B and this is the answer of A. This is the answer of A, that using high-low method, we find something like this. Now look at the second question. Look at the second question. So the second question also, we have to do this way. For the second question, we also have to find the answer like this. If it is our second question, okay, then we have to find out the answer like this, and this is the solution you can see. This is the solution. Okay, so we find that B is eight to five dollar. B is eight to five dollar. So this is B. Eight to five. Eight to five. Okay. We don't know A at this moment. We don't know A. We don't know A. We don't know A. So we, and we don't and what is the high level of activity here? Which one is the high level of activity? 16, right? 16 is the high level of activity and high cost. So 21,800. 21,800. And it is 16. It is 16. X is 16. Which one is the lowest? Lowest is 8, right? So 15,200. 15, 200, okay, and uh, level of activity is the eight. Yes. Now, now, here, look at here, here, A should be similar number. Where the level of activity high, where the level of activity high, where the level of activity low, okay, then A is fixed and per unit variable cost also fixed, right? Also fixed. So what is the answer of A? A is, no, A is this one. So the answer should be this. The answer should be this. And this is the equation. Equation is Y equal y equal a plus b here b is eight to five this is the answer equation y equal a plus bx means y equal a is eight six zero zero whether it is high level or low level eight six zero zero is fixed right and whether it is high level or low level eight to five dollar variable cost is fixed per unit. And X means level of activity. Level of activity may be higher, level of activity may be lower. 
you understand so if you want to answer my question in the exam you should know what is the characteristics what is the characteristics of okay what is the characteristics of variable cost it is important to know what is the characteristics of fixed cost is important to know then high low level using high low level method and write this equation so i i solved two questions so exercise 2 and exercise 1 is important for example i will just change the number so you should know what is the characteristics of variable cost and fixed cost and how to calculate uh, the missing number by using high low method okay